Well, that's my Jesus. That's my King. He's the King of Kings. He's the Lord of Lords. He's the Lord of Lords. Mother, 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 mother. When we look towards God, imagine that tonight. My God, imagine what you do. That's Jesus. That's love. But when God opens the door for you, imagine when He gets to introduce you to all of heaven. Imagine after this life, God's looked down and seen everything that you've done. But what's really amazing is God blots out all the sins. He doesn't look at anything negative. He looks at everything positive that you can. Here's my seven case. Here's my seven point. Uh, we use that for an example. Man that traveled the world from one end to the other. He boasted in his weaknesses and he was given strength. He suffered and he persevered. He is my mighty son. In whom has served the Lord. Well done, my good and faithful servant. You can have so much. Because God has shown you how to take you from persecution and how to build you forth into the image of the Creator. Imagine when He gives it to Jesus. My God, God doing the introduction. Here's my beloved Son who died for you, who forgave your sins, who lifted you up, who gave you that eternal blessing. You know, when we have that, it's just that we walk into the presence of Almighty God, of the family of God, and the Creator Himself. He ends up showing us God has given us a lot of time and it seems to build forth in the infinity, actually, the Shekinah, and an appreciation for that spirit. And because of that, it is how He wills us, how He reacts, and we have a conception of our thoughts because God wills us. Now, when you see, actually, Solomon mentions this, it's like channeling the heart. But you, as a Christian, are the king. You are anointed as a joint heir in Christ Jesus. But we are one and the same. Even as I and the Father are one and the same as what Christ says. Well, if that's the truth of the matter, then what we end up saying is that we are also connected to the Creator, to the Spirit of the Living God, in the same way that Jesus is. Jesus says that you would be even mightier works than these. Now, if I look throughout history and see all the miracles that were done in Christ Jesus' name, that's the truth. We expect miracles, we expect glory, we expect healing of the Lord. And this is in every nation, all around the world, for thousands of years. Look at the bright, shining future that we have in Christianity and a connection with the divine. And to know how blessed we are to have that work to give us, that light that God has given us. It is not only adoration, not only praise, but it is pure divinity that work it gives. It gives you an opportunity to create miracles. How do we do it? The same way Jesus did. The word of God. And when he saw the storm, he would speak peace. He would speak shalom. When he wanted to raise the girl, when he wanted to bring forth Lazarus, he used the word. When we want to have the reception of Christ, we call into his name. So that if you believe that Jesus is Lord, you can receive and return to salvation. You have to believe in your heart. Confess with your lips that Jesus is Lord, Yeshua, Hamashiach, and receive it. The blessing of God. My message is simple. It's really so simple. Jesus is Lord. And when you end up receiving it, you have a gift. It's a gift from the whole world. God bless. God bless America. And I'll see you.